Is it recording? Yes. Okay, hello guys. Welcome to another XNA tutorial on how to make a game in XNA. And uh, in this tutorial, we're just going to continue making our gun class, gun data class, and we're going to start on that uh, static method that I was talking about the previous episode, a previous tutorial, sorry. Uh, and yeah, we're just going to get started on that. So, I'm going to make public static and we're going to call this method uh, load gun db okay and then uh, oops we got to give it a return value and we're not going to return anything so it's just going to be a void uh, actually you know what we could return a list no, that's okay so what we want to do is use the namespace uh, for system.io. So just use press uh, type using dot system using system.io and just put semicolon at the end. Uh, and the reason we want to do this is because we want to use uh, one of the classes in uh, that namespace called stream reader. So uh, just put a using statement here stream stream reader re reader equals new stream reader and we're gonna put our stream in there later uh, okay so if we go into our explorer or our, our documents or wherever you saved it uh, let's see I'm gonna try to find it I think it's yeah it's right here okay so once you get into the project bin debug uh, where our object database is we're gonna create a new file and we're gonna call this gun db dot xml and it's just gonna be right in the same directory as the zombie shooter.exe. So the path is just going to be gun db.xml. That's going to be the path or the stream. Uh, so now we want to make an, uh, another string variable. Just call it, uh, let's see, we'll just call it gun db string capital S equals reader dot read to end. and this will basically just read everything all the whole string in that file and assign it to this variable and that's what we want okay so after that we can get out of this using statement actually you know what, what we want to do is copy this paste it outside the using statement put a semicolon and get rid of this string uh, variable de declaration so that's why it's outside of the scope of this using statement so we can use it outside of it okay so now moving on uh, we will actually want to make it very similar to the gun database oops actually let me double click uh, I mean the object database so let's go to our object database and see what we did there we put objects and then all this stuff so uh, I think what we're gonna do here is just is sort of a similar thing except it's going to be guns and you guys can use notepad or if you, whatever uh, text editor you have I'm just going to use notepad plus plus because it's uh, has nice color coding and stuff like that so uh, yeah okay so then each gun is going to have different uh, attributes so it's going to have an ID, a name, uh, ammo, etc. So we don't actually have to put the ID in here because it will auto automatically assign an ID to each of them. So I'm just going to say name equals this. You know what we could do? What we could do is go like this. Uh, caps is on. And we could put each name for each attribute like this. That might be easier or it might look nicer. So 
We have a gun and it has several attributes like name, ammo, we'll just say ammo is just to make it shorter, and uh, damage. And I'm just going to do the rest of the variables uh, just to save time. Okay, so now we have all our little attributes or uh, child attributes in here. I'm not sure, actually elements, I'm not sure exactly what the term is, but yeah, so we can name this like M14, ammo, like 30, damage, 3, bullet speed, 20, recoil, point one, point zero two, or something like that, spread, uh, 10, rate, uh, rate, Five fire type will be uh, true, true, false, stuff like that. So, uh, and then we can extract this information using our little method to parse. Okay, so, uh, yeah. So, first thing we want to do with this string once. Uh, we get all this information is get rid of all the unnecessary information like uh, this this right here we don't need that and uh, we want to get all of these and each of these attributes so I'm gonna create a a method to do that so just create this public static string get get element and then we're going to pass in a string and it's going to be the name of the element and what it's going to do is oh it's going to have the name of the element and the string to search and we're just going to call this s how are we doing on time okay and uh, make another string and call it just output and what we want to do is say output equals s dot substring start index and we're going to find the index of s dot index of and we're going to find the the name of that attribute so it's going to look something like this we want to find uh, the beginning tag of that element and then we want to end with the ending tag so it looks something like that but uh, that's not how we do it because we have to find the length instead of the ending position so uh, to find the length we want to do this uh, minus oops. The length is going to be the ending position minus the beginning position. And uh, and also minus s dot index. Oh, actually, uh, it's going to be minus the length of this string right here that I'm going to make. Okay, so there we go. So the length of that string, because I believe it finds the position of the last uh, character of that whole string. So we'll, what we want to do is go to the end of that string and get everything in between. So that's going to be the output. Hope that makes sense. You can look it over in your own uh, project to see how it works. And we're just going to return the output. Okay, and yeah, so that's going to help us a lot. So next thing is, you know what, actually I have another thing we, we need to do. Uh, add an integer and say starting point. Start starting search point. 
And what will this will do is because uh, you see these guns, there'll be multiple gun tags. And it's going to find the same one every time unless we put a new starting point. And I spelled starting point wrong. Okay, so we're going to add a new argument in the index of, and we're just going to put starting search point in each of them. So just uh, copy that and paste it into all of your index ofs. And I'm just going to go like that so you can see it better. And we're getting errors for some reason. Okay, yeah. Uh, don't put it in uh, this string right here. Yeah, that was okay. Just get rid of that. Uh, okay, so I think we're pretty much good right here. I uh, will continue this in the next tutorial, but yeah, we're getting uh, pretty far in our gun data class. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I wouldn't mind if you left a thumbs up or rating, uh, comment, and subscribe. Okay, thank you, and I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye.